Now that we've got our workstation reorganized, we're ready to go. This DOS stone effect modeling clay is something I've been really excited to use. It says it's air hardening and it seems like it's user friendly, but after seeing how well Tiny Zach turned out, I'm confident that these three Sunheart sculptures are gonna be easy peasy. So you see I have a piece of paper here. The reason for that is that I wanna make three identical images. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is doodle out how the Sunheart sculpture is gonna look and then cut this out and use it as a template. And I want it to be just as playful as the actual sculpture. So as you can see, we got a very basic shape. It doesn't look too great, but it's just enough for us to transfer three-dimensionally. Now that we've got our stencil drawn up, it's time to cut it out using an X-Acto knife, and then we'll get to work with some clay, baby. Just as I said before, guys, I am forever cutting out Sunheart stencils. It's all in the name of love, baby, and I love doing it, so. Boom shakalaka. I think this is gonna be a nice little tabletop keepsake to remind everyone to spread a little love. Now that that's finished, let's crack this clay open and get to work. I think we're gonna end up using all of this. Roll, time to roll the sleeves up. <laughs> Ooh, it's slimy. Ugh, it feels so weird. Ooh. Okay, now what I want to do is go ahead and split it up into threes. It feels so weird. One, One potato, two potato, two potato, four. I think that worked out pretty fantastically. <laughs> I needed something to roll it out with. And what better than some iron lac spray paint? They're for more than just painting walls. Oh, that's not too bad actually. No, it's not bad at all. This is nerve wracking. The smell is something I could do without as well. It has like a plasticky type of smell. Take the paper off. <laughs> Saved it. Not terrible. This thing is already starting to get hard actually. <laughs> that's what she said. All right, I'm just about finished smoothing everything out. It looks pretty good. I'm worried about how strong it's gonna be once it hardens because it's really thin. Let's get this out of here. All right, we got that one set aside to dry. We got two more to go. It's time to speed things up. <laughs> We've got our third sun heart sculpture carved out. Let's let all three dry. And in the meantime, we'll start painting the bases. Twenty-four hours later. Check them out. After more than 24 hours, these things are finally dry enough to add some paint to them. So let's get started. <laughs> 